Welcome to the next tutorial, galvanized fittings, all about fittings and pipes. In this lesson we can discuss what galvanized is, how to use it and how to repair it. First of all, this is a 15 millimeter galvanized pipe known as half inch in galvanized. Then we have a 20 millimeter galvanized pipe known as three quarter. The reason I used russet galvanized pipes is because this is exactly what you have in your house. And we have a few galvanized fittings here. We have a 20 by 15, in other words, 3 quarter by half inch, reducing galvanized elbow. Then we have a 20 by 20 by 20, in other words, 3 quarter by 3 quarter by 3 quarter, galvanized T-piece. Then we have this little filler here called the Union. This is quite a nifty little fitting because if you want to join two galvanized pipes, you would basically have this fitting on the pipe here, like that, and this fitting on, on this side. And what you would do to join this is you'll put it together, tighten the nut, about that tighten the nut when this is inside the wall to join two galvanized pipes or even loosen galvanized pipes so this is quite a useful little fitting on the galvanized side and what we got is we have a half inch galvanized elbow again this is to turn the angles and then this is a galvanized plug if you want to take a tap off your garden tap and you want to go hardware and you need to have water in the house this is what you would use to plug your joint off in the wall instead of the tap you use a galvanized plug and that will go into the t-piece in the next lesson i'm going to explain exactly how to put hemp and uh, ptfe tape on the on the joints uh, in order not for your fittings to leak then we have a johnson coupling another nifty little fitting what this does is Picture this, you have your galvanized pipe like that. So you sprung a big leak in the middle there. So what you do is you cut your pipe in half. You would push this pipe slightly over. Then you would take this nut, put it over there with this ring. And you have a little gasket inside there. That you would push right over there. Make sure it goes over tight. You would take this and you would push it halfway through. And you would tighten this nut with a ball beyond spanner. I'm not going to tighten this nut in this tutorial. This is only for demonstration purposes. Let's do this side here so you can see the complete joint. Again, the same thing. Remember this ring goes over here. It's a compression ring. And this compresses the rubber into the fitting. So the pipes that you have in your ground are pretty rusted. You want to take a file and file this round. I've done this already for the tutorial. So you want to push it inside there until it meets halfway there. You want to tighten this nut all the way with the bourbon panel, your monkey wrench. And that will repair your leak in the ground. But I have an easier way for you. I have an easier way. Let's picture this. You did not cut this pipe. It's got a small little hole in here. You want to get yourself a cascade clamp. A cascade clamp is used to seal leaks on galvanized pipes. The way it works is it has a ball here, it has a wash and a nut. So what you would do is you would open the clamp like that, put it over your pipe, close the clamp, put that over there, make sure it goes right around. And you want to take a 17 spanner and tighten the nut until the pipe is sealed. So these are very nice clamps you have when you have galvanized leaks because this will save you a whole lot of money and help you do your own pipe repairs. So that's all about galvanized. I hope you guys understand everything or understood everything. Uh, if there's anything else, leave a comment and I will see if I can help you. I'll see you in the next tutorial.